few years back, I traveled to Italy with my daughter, my all-time favorite travel companion. We packed up two weeks worth of clothing into two carry-ons and headed to a rental apartment smack dab in the center of Rome. We traveled to Florence by train and explored these grand cities at a slow pace. Back at home, ironically, I began living a simpler, slower-paced lifestyle of our own. From that trip, I brought back a new perspective on life, new recipes to cook, and a dream planted in my heart that would not be fully realized for a few years. I would eventually have the desire to live abroad a few months of the year and split our time between California and Tuscany. In that time, I had carved out a new lifestyle, a simple one, and on this channel I speak of it often. Of the beauty and peace of living a slower paced lifestyle, and though simple living is what most would call it, there was something here that was added in, something I couldn't quite put a name to, not that I needed one, but I wanted to be able to explain it here to you, to offer an idea that had increased our enjoyment, our pleasure, and enhanced our home life in such a way it had to be shared. I was indeed living simply, and I do think to live this way is beautiful in and of itself. However, it was more than that. I was making everything as beautiful as it could be in those simple moments, and then in a very serendipitous way, a book made its way to me. A book describing a concept of living that Italians had been doing for decades, and that I was somehow instinctively already living, almost as if I had already been living there in my mind. I finally had a name for it, Bella Figura, and if you are curious, Bella Figura is the title of the book and I will link it for you below. It tells the tale of a woman who embraced this concept of living and completely reset her life. Bella Figura itself translates into beautiful figure, but it is so much more than that. It is about making every aspect of life as beautiful as it can be. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the key concepts that both the book speaks of and what I practice every day in my life and for it has made life so much more richer and satisfying. The best part is, you don't have to live in Italy to embrace them. This is Simple Living, Italian Style. Food and Meal Time I probably don't have to tell you that food is a major part of the Italian lifestyle, but it isn't just delicious cooking that makes this one so important. It is everything regarding food. From the ingredients you cook with, to the cooking itself, and finally, how you enjoy the meal. It is ensuring that you cook with quality ingredients, whether that be from a garden or a farmer's market. When you embrace Bella Figura, you pay attention to the food you are bringing into your kitchen. And you take the time to actually cook your meals and not rely on packaged foods. How you enjoy the food is also an important aspect. Even if you eat alone, setting a nice place for yourself to enjoy your meal is important because you are caring for yourself and creating a nice experience around your meal. time is also a time to connect with friends and family, so things like Sunday lunches with friends are regular occurrences for many Italians, as is inviting people into your home for a meal. Dressing well. Take pride in your appearance. This doesn't mean you have to be decked out each day or spend a lot of money, but wear something that makes you feel good. Take the time to put on some earrings, a little makeup if that suits you, or wear a dress or something feminine that makes you feel beautiful. 
This is to live bella figura, to adorn yourself and take pride in your personal unique beauty and care for yourself. Savoring the small things. As Americans, we seem to always be on the go, even grabbing our coffee to take with us. In Italy, I never saw a to-go cup walking the city or a coffee drive through In all the cafes we entered, I'd noticed the Italians would stand at the bar and have their coffees there. Some would chat a little and then be off. But what was so noticeable to me was that they each took time to drink the coffee at the coffee bar. Beautiful Living and Bella Figura are about savoring the small things like our morning coffee, walking a little more slowly in nature, and actually stopping to smell the roses. These create small, beautiful moments that make life come alive. Age with grace. Italians embrace their age and continue taking pride in their appearance well into old age. Something that has very much changed for me is how I view aging myself. As I grow older, I look to the women I most respect. Many of them are older than me and I see their confidence and wisdom and the way they deal with life with love and ease and even the way they move. It is a beauty that reaches far beyond skin-deep attributes. And while our society has taken an unhealthy stand against aging by equating beauty with only youth, the reality is beauty has no age limits. So embrace whatever age you are and see your beautiful, unique qualities that make you beautiful at any age. Walking. When I travel, I prefer staying where the locals live in an apartment or a house. I enjoy the feeling of living there and the moment we would head out the gate of our apartment each morning, I noticed the same Italians walking. They walk to get their groceries to the cafe for their morning cappuccino. I'd see ladies walking their children to school. And even though there are cars around, it was apparent that not everyone had a car or needed one. Taking an after dinner stroll is also quite common and something I began doing about a year ago has since become a daily habit and I can feel the difference in my body, so embrace walking as much as you can. Don't park so close to the store. Walk to places if it's possible or take an after-dinner stroll as the Italians do. It's good for both our mental and physical health. One of the most important elements of Bella Figura is connecting with others and feeding the relationships in our lives. So many of us in the U.S. prefer to talk or text on social media and lead very solo lives without realizing this only leads to isolation and loneliness. The Italians seem to understand this and have a deep sense of community, which is a big part of their lives. Since embracing Bella Figura, I have traded talking over texting, more frequent visits, and I no longer keep up with friends or family on Facebook. Doing nothing. This one took me a long time to practice. I was always a producer with my to-do list and my to-go coffee, but I began slowing down from even my production in a day. I stopped using a to-do list and now go with the flow of each day. And yes, I take time to do nothing. You don't actually have to sit and do nothing. What it means is you're not doing anything that might look like productivity. So maybe you're taking a call from a friend, reading from a book you want to read, or just sitting and observing the birds. It's allowing yourselves to just be. This very small practice has led to so much more enjoyment in life for me. I'm calmer and I could tell you life is not meant to be rushed through. So if you can find a way to allow yourself to do nothing in your days, it will give you a whole new aspect of joy in your life. That completes my list. There are so many aspects to this lifestyle, and if you want to read more about it, I have written a blog post that I shared in the description box below. There you can also find the link to the Bella Figura book, which is filled with practices and a beautiful story to inspire you. Thank you so much for watching.